What's up guys, it's Cameron, and let's talk. Let's, let's talk about what, what is going on. There is so much changing with Facebook Marketplace right now, and so much uncertainty, and it's, it's starting to be alarming to a lot of people. So we've got, let's just get this one out of the way, Facebook Shops. All right, um, I haven't made a Facebook Shops video because what's gonna happen if I do, is it's gonna be the same Facebook Shops video you've seen every single other YouTuber make, where it's just me hyping up Facebook Shops and then telling you, I don't really know what else to say. There's a lot of uncertainty with Facebook Shops, um, a lot to come down the pipeline, there's gonna be a lot coming out. Right now, basically, I hit sign up on a button and uh, I don't know what else to tell you. That's that's the gist of what we're all hearing. That's That's as far as I've gotten to. So it's not really worth your time. So, anyway, Facebook Shops though, apparently for the few people who have been able to successfully navigate the weird ass waters of how to even get their shop connected, because just like every other feature on Facebook dropshipping that we've encountered, not everybody gets everything at once. They just pop up one day and it's, a, it's just a whole thing. Plus it's like a business thing. So at that point, it's up to you if you wanna pursue that and I'm trying to figure it out so that I can tell you guys whether or not it's worth that pursuit, um, if it makes anything better. There are some people who do it, and it makes their life 100% better, and then there are some people who do it, and it has no effect. So that's my honest opinion on the whole thing. From what I'm experiencing and from what I've seen and watched everyone's videos on, it doesn't really seem like anybody has any actual good insight on it. So, but... I have heard, even way before this whole shops thing started happening, when it was actually first happening, there were some people in the group and uh, people who message me regularly, a few of them, that they were starting to give me those hints. Like, hey man, shops are pretty sweet. You know, I wasn't making much money. I switched over to shops, got it all set up, took a while, and I am booming. So I had quite a few of those messages. I thought they were awesome. I just never took the time to look into it myself. Now I'm kicking myself over not doing it, of course. You guys feel free to message me and tell me you told me so. But that's that's the gist of shops. It's a weird it's a weird thing right now that we're still trying to define how easy it can be versus how unimportant it is. Anyway, let's move on. I got kicked off Marketplace again. I'm already back. It only took me like a day or two to get back online, but it cost me two sales, whatever. Uh, that was kind of annoying because, you know, a lot of you guys talk about multiple kick like bans from Marketplace. I'd only ever gotten banned once for each of my accounts. And maybe it had to do with me setting up my shop. I, I set up my shop on my secondary account with like a business and everything and a Facebook page. And then the next day, my original account was banned. No idea if that's linked. Probably not, but you never know. Anyway, also, after my shop or after I got back online with that original shop or original marketplace see this is starting to get confusing even for me but once I got back online I got a random message from an item I've never even sold but like I listed so long ago and it said this item may go against our policies or whatever so maybe that got me kicked off for a second no clue but I did the same method I always tell you guys to do when I did get banned I just found an old email that talked that was from a long time ago when I got banned one time. So it's months old email. I just hit reply to that email and said, hey, I'm kicked off Marketplace again. They got me back up and running, no issue. Also, I mean, there are so many people that aren't even making sales. We're still in the no views issue. It's been a couple months now, um, minimum for some people. And that doesn't seem to be going away. There are some people like, I'll see a, a post on the group that's like, Oh, I, I've, I've got sales again. I'm so excited. And then the next day, they'll be like, my sales tanked again. There's nothing going on. None of us know. None of us have good ideas. Even the videos, I've even made one where it's like more views. And then it turns out, but like it doesn't, it didn't actually help anything. So nobody's got good answers on that. There are people that show up in every single video about low views that are like, guys, it's just the season. It's just the season, people are outside. Like, that's dumb. Like, what are you talking about? Yes, I get the logic behind it, but you don't go from making like three grand a month to making like $50 a month because of a season. That's stupid. You, you might, you might, you're not even dropping half. Like you might go halfway, I guess, half profit than what you were making before, but it doesn't disappear 
because of a season. Stores, retail stores don't go out of business when it's not Christmas. Like that's that doesn't make any sense. So, no, no, stop it. I, there's something up. There are some people who have had no issues and they've been, if, if anything, the trajectory has gone up for them while we're all crying about views. So, Facebook's a weird, weird territory right now. It is so hit and miss per account. I get random sales here and there. I might get right now, currently for the past couple of weeks, a couple sales a week, maybe a sale every day, maybe a sale every three days. I don't really know. I, I at this point, like I just, whenever I get one, I mark it and uh, that's it. But I notice when I do make a sale, it's stuff that I, I list normally through through FBM Fox and stuff like that. Um, I've tried manually listing versus the other stuff. Like in my previous video, I haven't found that anything helps really. And nothing really makes anybody's worse. I, I, I don't really know. I, I think honestly, Facebook's just kind of pivoting over to the shops kind of thing maybe. And in the meantime, until they both get solidified, which to me is a joke. I mean... Facebook Marketplace itself wasn't even really fine-tuned yet. We were all like navigating these weird waters, being like, okay, this new change, this new change, and knowing that eventually it might settle. And then right, like, I feel like right before it was done, but maybe who knows how long that, that would have taken. Facebook implements shops in full force. And you're like, guys, you haven't even figured out the original idea yet. Can we just solidify one before moving on to another? But... Maybe they are more meshed together than I like to give them credit for. Anyway, that's dumb. I, I hate all of it. I, I think I, I think it'll all be fine in the long run. But right now, there are people who are just like, you know, I feel bad for you guys who want to start because I, I, I want to say don't. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, if you make a sale and you're not taking your own money out, like, why not start? And then also, there's an argument to be made that if you start fresh that Facebook's got no data on you to even like algorithm or cancel your cancel you I guess and uh you might just plow through and be amazing I still have people in the group every day that are like I made my first sale yay like which is so awesome like keep going guys I think that's great by the way, the Facebook group's at like 5,000 people, which is insane. I remember when it had eight people in it. I remember when it hit 100, and I told my wife, and she was like, why? <laughs> She's like, why do these people join a group, and why why your face is on it? That doesn't make any sense. I'm like, I know it doesn't make any sense, but it seems to help people out. So feel free to join the group. 5,000 people, that's insane. And I'm really close to 3,000 people on this YouTube channel, also insane. So crazy. In the other, in other news with Facebook Marketplace, just on the YouTube side, it's also kind of weird that like, you know, you've seen me post a few videos now that aren't Facebook Marketplace related. That has been part of my plan for a while. I've always wanted to go into the getting out of debt arena and, um, you know, not quite motivational, but like business related stuff. I don't know where this is going to go. And I'll probably talk about YouTube a lot more in the future too, for people who, to help those people out. Um, because that's, that's a whole thing. A lot of people just start YouTube channels and want to hit a 1,000 subscribers, and it's really hard to do. So I want to help people by telling them what I've done, just like what I do with the channel to tell you what I've done with Marketplace. And anyway, the, the Facebook Marketplace YouTube side, there are YouTubers that just haven't posted in a while that are regular posters just like me. Um, I skipped the video last week just because family stuff came up. There are... YouTubers that in this weird time are just going full force now that the void has been opened and they're like they they make video after video and just like they don't really talk about anything which I guess could be said about me too but it's a weird world right now guys and and ladies and everyone else it's weird let's just let's just all agree that it's weird quit telling me that it's a season quit giving me excuses you don't know I don't know. We're all stupid. We're all just trying to do this. And no one knows anything about how this works other than how to list things. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Get your tricks. Do whatever works for you. And I'll keep making videos on what I learn.
Thanks so much for watching. Um, all my coupon codes, normal. This, oh, this is the support section. If you're still watching, this is how you can support the YouTube channel. If you know anybody or you yourself are new and you want to learn how to do the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, which I'm sure doesn't sound as appealing after of everything I just said, but let's say you still want to start. I have discounted the course down to $70, I believe, down from like $150. I had to drop the price to $100 and then drop it to $70. So it says $100 down to $70, but it was a $150. Anyway, if you get that course, that supports the channel a lot. It's me just teaching you how to get started. I will be doubling that course not too far into the distant future. I already have a bunch more videos that I want to put in it. And FBM Fox, it's a free lister tool, but also if you use a paid you know, tool on their system using my coupon code Cameron10, all lowercase, gets you 10% off. And yeah, price backers is in there too. Uh, I think that that's useful for people. I haven't really seen any feedback from it, but apparently it gives you cash back for when you sign when you buy stuff through certain websites it just monitors price changes and sends you refunds for the difference and stuff like that anyway anything you use in my description helps me out liking commenting all that stuff engaging with the videos super helps me out so thank you and i will see you next time